Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today's question comes from Mario Lino. They are looking to fire their 10 cannons, one after the other, uh, in sequence. So without further ado, we'll hop into our map. I only have uh, six cannons set up here, but it'll be the same idea. Then I have a cannonball. The cannonball does have a behavior of bullet, so we can make it uh, go across once it's fired. And then the cannons themselves, they have a variable of turn. And that's just going to keep track of whose turn it is. They simply count from 1 up to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And without further ado, we'll hop into the code. And we'll start it out with a global. And that'll be current. And current will equal 0. And every x seconds one and then we'll add a function here and this will be called fire so every one second we're gonna call this function fire and it will first check to see if current is greater than six is current greater than six and that is because our highest turn is 6, so once it's above 6, we want to set current back down to our lowest one. And our lowest one is 1, but what I'm going to do is add the variable, 1 to the variable every time right after this step, so I'm going to set it 1 below. And then this will be our add to current 1, so this will make it go to the next one each time. And then one more add blank, and we will do create object. Hmm. Screen. There we go. Sorry about that. Create object, and we will create it at canon dot x and canon dot y and we're going to create the cannonball and in here we're going to do whatever cannon is currently on the turn so we will compare turn and see what one's equal to current and that will tell us who is currently on the turn and they will create that cannonball and shoot it and Starting down the list, every second it fires up. And then one last thing to show you, it will reset here. Uh, one last thing to show you, it they fire correctly, like the location is correct, uh, based on my origins. So I just set my image point to the tip there. And then it's centered on the ball, so it just creates it right here. And that's how I was able to just use uh, Canon X, Canon Y. But hopefully that answers the question for you. Have a good one. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Take care.